What is it that, that gets me up in the morning? What is it that makes me have that drive? What am I, what am I going for? You know, I've always recognized that what motivates me is the journey, not the destination. But I like the journey, hence these vlogs. I like the journey because I can show that progression, show that, that I've achieved something every day rather than I've been something by the end. One of the things I've always struggled with is sustaining motivation to achieve my success. When I look back, Yes, there are some things that I would say have been successful, but if I were to measure, have I been successful? I would say no. No, because I'm still chasing something. I'm still working towards something and I still feel like I'm at the bottom of the mountain, ready to start my climb. And it's frustrating being in this state for a long period of time. It really, really affects your motivation and your guidance and your compass and your confidence. Can you do this? Is it really in your DNA? The thing that I realized is that the thing holding me back is not anyone else and it's not any other situation. It is me. I am the thing holding me back. And it's to do with two things lack of motivation and lack of dedication. I suffer from short-term bursts of motivation to get really going with something and I'm really passionate. I can put all my energy in and do you know what? When I have that motivation, I find the time. But then something happens. Some external event happens and it shifts my priorities, it shifts my, my core center. And the thing that I was once motivated by, it just isn't as strong. So why am I sharing this? Really, it's to be a truth to myself that it is me and only me holding myself back. But also to help you understand the same if you haven't done so already. This will act as a reminder that it's only me who can make that change, only me who can push forward, only me who can find that dedication and only me who can reignite that motivation. And that's what I must do. If I don't, I don't have it in my DNA and I will never be successful. The two scariest thoughts over what I'm doing with my life. And I will not accept it.